So I haven't set this up yet. So we'll try to do that and maybe do a fast forward here. I don't think the uh, video portion here is gonna pick up very well, but over to the lower left would be Saturn and uh, Jupiter is about the only thing I can see on the monitor here. So let's get this set up first. I'll be right back. Okay, there's our alignment. Let's check our settings first. <laughs> we have the ISO up real high. But that's so we can see the moons of Jupiter. further. That's the uh, max zoom this uh, camera offers. So we have three of the moons of Jupiter out in front and then the planet itself and off to the, let's try to find it. There it is. That would be Callisto out there, way out there. All right, so we're going to change up and try to get the bands of Jupiter in. I shall be right back. Hope it comes out, all right? Doggone it, I forgot what camera I was on. I'm going to have to try that again. <laughs> I thought I was on the Canon, and I wasn't. All right. I accidentally turned the... Uh, camera off, so let me do my thing here. Okay, so there's our settings. And we'll turn them off. I'm also going to do another start and stop here on the recording so I can get the short video clips and try to do a stacking with them. So I'll be right back again. I already am back with taking those off. Short video clips for stacking. And we are in the Nikon P1000 camera tonight, recording onto the Atomist Ninja Flame and using the Skywatcher telescope now to track the planets. Now the only thing I can see in my sky is uh, Jupiter and barely Saturn. So we're going to pull back. I'm going to change it to ISO and try to get like Saturn or the trees or something but so we're going to have this mount take us to the general area for Saturn should be. Okay, so uh, that one lone light up at the top right is Jupiter. Bottom right is uh, somebody's security light. And there we go. We have a little triangle there with a couple stars with Saturn. can't see Titan even with the uh, ISO up all the way, so let's try to get Saturn in just a second. Alrighty, there we go. I'm going to take a few short video clips so we can get a stack in and I'll be right back. Okay. And we're back again after getting that short video clip. I did take some pictures with the uh, Canon 80D right before using the Nikon know, for the video portion. So um, we'll probably put those pictures in here too. 
But that's going to be it. The moon hasn't risen yet, or if it has, it's not above my trees yet, so. And there's nothing else shining out here except some lightning bugs. <laughs> and these two guys, not in my sky, but I can see by eye, so. So it's a really muggy night over here. Not surprising with the storms blowing in from the Gulf. And it is uh, summertime too, so <laughs> that makes sense. Try to get both the planets to show up. And now I can see Saturn on the monitor, but when we go in the house, I have a feeling it'll be too hard to see. But anyway, that's going to be it for now. It's now 9.49 p.m. up here. And I'm going to wish you all a wonderful night. And a great Thursday ahead. Is that? Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. So please be safe wherever you are. And thanks for everything. Thanks for taking the time to come out and watch the sky with me. We don't have much else to uh, see here because the... Only other planets I can get are Venus and Mars, and they're in the daytime sky. Or when the sun does go down, the planets are too low on the horizon for me. I have trees and houses in the way. <laughs> so that's about it in my late polluted skies over here. So I hope you have better viewing conditions than I do, and all's right in your world.